What's up, Gito family? It's your girl, Mika, and I am back with another video. Welcome to Prophetess Tamika's Thinking. I am Prophetess Tamika. How are y'all doing today? Today is Thursday, uh, January the 12th of 2023, you guys. Okay, so with this video, it's just me, me having a conversation. Like, like I said, y'all, most of my words come from my life, me talking to God and stuff like that, you know? And with this word, I'm going to have to tell a little bit of my business, but it's okay because uh, God have released me to do it because any other time I wouldn't, I wouldn't. and that's, it's connected to the word that he had me to speak. So, um, anyway, so let me just go ahead and give y'all a little backstory. And as y'all can tell by the title, it's about love, y'all, unconditional love. A lot of people don't even know what that is. They don't even really got it, you know. Um, some of them say they got unconditional love for their children, but if the, if the child be too unruly and too bad, you know, they end up just on the towel, some of them. Not everybody, this only goes for a certain amount of people. If it ain't for you, don't put that shoe on, y'all. But if it is, then accept your, just accept the truth, okay? But it's a lot of people in the world that do not have unconditional love, which is what our Lord Jesus has. And he expects us to have it as well, right? Well, anyway, let me just go ahead. Because I was complaining, y'all. That's what was going on with me when I got this word. I was a little bit, not complaining, but I was, mm, I was just talking. I was just talking to God about some stuff. And I was just, you know, speaking on some stuff. And he shit me right on up. Because let me tell you what happened. Okay, so um i have a individual that's in my life i'm not gonna say no names i have an individual that's in my life who i um constantly reach out to right i constantly reach out to even when i do not want to okay um i'm always putting myself out there i'm always willing to put my um self out there and sometimes i get left empty handed sometimes i don't you know i uh, have a um uh, uh, it don't be reciprocated sometimes you know it's just not okay so I was talking to God about it I was like you know it seemed like you you got me always doing it reaching out and doing this and doing that I said, it seems like I'm always doing it and you want to say I'm not I still do it and it's like I'm just stuck up putting my even if I get my heart hurt or my feelings hurt I still put myself out there just I can't so I can get my heart trumpled on like it's like I'm constantly doing it and you know I heard the Lord speak to me and he said that's how I feel <laughs> y'all he know how to shut us up <laughs> he know how to shut us up y'all but he sure know how to shut me up because I was going in and he said, that's how I feel. Like, I'm always putting myself out there. For my church, I'm always putting myself out there. And they always do. And I don't, and don't hardly ever get reciprocated. They don't always get turned back. They always end up doing something different. And then you got something that come and then they end up doing something else. He said, yeah, that's how I feel. And I still put myself out there because that's how much I love them. He say love is it doesn't have a limit on it. Real love don't have a limitation. And um unconditional love is see past the pain and the faults. You feel what I'm saying? And you still decide to love them. Besides everything that they got going on. Even when I feel like it's not being reciprocated back to me. You feel me? And I'm like, wow, God. Well, I thank you. You know, that's what I can say now is I thank him because I did ask God to give me his love. To put it down on the inside of me. Because he said, that's how you know his children from others. The love that we have one towards another. You know what I'm saying? So I just want y'all to just Think about that, you know, think about that. When you feel like you're just showing, you're just giving too much, too much, and it ain't being reciprocated, and you're so quick to throw in a towel. You're just so quick to give on, up on somebody. 
But God does the same thing. Jesus do the same thing every day for us. So before you throw in a towel on loving somebody, you know what I'm saying? Ask yourself if you would want God to do that to you. Because I truly believe, y'all, that when you love someone and you genuinely love them past all their faults and pains and stuff like that, you know, I feel like people love to know that they're loved. And there's nothing they can do to stop that, to stop you from loving them, right? So this is not going to be a very long video, y'all, but I just want to pop in and put that on your minds, you know. Love. Real love. The kind of love that Jesus have. He expects us to have it as well. You know what I'm saying? Especially if we're fathers of him and we want to act as he act. Have the Holy Ghost, which is his characteristics, what he do. Yeah, we're going to have to you have to do that. So you just ask yourself a couple questions. If I give up on loving this person, now I'm not saying that you got to, you know, be around people to love them, but to love them for real, for real, from your heart, you know, like Jesus do. Would you want God to give up and stop loving you is the question. And um, think about God. Think about him how, and and, and just, just try to watch how we, uh, do how we act with God, make sure that the love Jesus give us, that we reciprocate that love back to him. Remember, this is kingdom thinking, so I just want y'all to become kingdom minded, and I'm giving you something to think on, something to think about. Okay? So, I love y'all. Continue to cover pain with power, fear with faith, and lust with love. Because over here, we cover all things ungodly with things that are godly. Um, I salute you, my godly warriors, when you continue to walk in promise. The promise that God has for your life. And I'll see y'all later. Bye-bye.